channel today um, if you're new here please consider subscribing as a matter of fact go ahead and take the time right now to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified for any of my upcoming videos if you are new to my channel and you just recently subscribed I want to say thank you for joining the fam and to the people who have been around since day one I want to say welcome back well, today I'm going to do a little something different. I'm going to talk to you about the new life that we're going to have to embark on pretty soon and what you can do to prepare yourself to get through it. Now, if you do tend to hear some little voices in the background, you guys know that I do have a set of six-year-old twins and they are currently fighting. So, bear with me. Today I'm going to tell you about how to prepare um, for what could, pops, what could possibly be or come to be our future. Um, and I do have notes here on my tablet, so yeah. Um, you know, we are now in lockdown. Um, some states are getting out of lockdown as we speak, but some, you know, aren't quite there yet. And if you ask me, a lot of the ones that are opening up, they're not there yet either. But who am I to call the shots, right? But um, as you know, there are a lot of major businesses that have come to a screeching halt. Um, there has been millions of people who um, their employment has become no more. A lot of people have filed for unemployment. I mean, millions of people have filed for unemployment. And, you know, clearly it's because they're gonna be drowning in debt. They're gonna be drowning trying to find a raft to get up this river. And I think that I do have a couple of tips that could possibly help you make it through without completely sinking. At least keeping your head above water. My first tip would be to change how and what you are eating. Now, a lot of us are used to eating out. We're used to going to the grocery store and getting our fruits and vegetables to make our salads. We're used to, you know, calling DoorDash to order our meals when we don't feel like cooking. You know, we're used to um, going to sit in, to re in restaurants and eating. Now that's going to be a little bit tough for the most of us because of the simple fact that a lot of the restaurants are closed. Um, yes, you can order DoorDash, but with the way the economy is now and with the amount of people who have lost jobs, they don't have the money for that. So what I'm suggesting is if you have some pots, if you have a small piece of land in your backyard, on your side of your yard, anywhere, why don't you try growing your own fruits and vegetables? Um, try growing things. Even if you don't have a yard, they do have like hanging tomato plants. You can grow tomatoes from a hanging pot. Um, seeds for these different fruits and vegetables that most of us eat costs a little less than two dollars now you pay two dollars for a head of lettuce you can pay two dollars and grow ten heads of lettuce 
I'm just saying, like tomatoes and cucumbers and string beans and, you know, collard greens and um, potatoes and all sorts of vegetables and fruits that we all use to sustain, you know, throughout the year, we can actually be growing them ourselves. So take some time to look into that and also look at what season you're in and what could be growing, you know, during this type of season. Um, so check into what you're eating. Also stock up on tangible materials such as books that can keep your family informed and that will benefit you should you not be able to afford a professional. Um, and that meaning professionals such as a doctor if you can't afford to go to the doctor or if you don't have health insurance or if your job had health insurance and your job is no more then you might want to invest in something like a medical book um, if you have plumbing troubles in your home and you're not able to call and you know get a plumber Get you some books, get you some information in your home so that you may be able to fix your own things. You may be able to, you know, research what's going on with you um, and fix it yourself. Even if, you know, you might have a common cold or if you have a headache or if you feel something that you feel might not be so serious, you might be able to find what could be going on in a medical book. Also, invest in you some cookbooks because, you know, a lot of us are going to have to be cooking at home now and not able to afford to go out to eat. So investing in cookbooks, that's a good thing as well. And one more thing about books and information, don't forget about entertainment. I mean, we can only watch so much TV. Get you some books that you find interesting or that you're into and read up on those that could be a source of entertainment for you as well number three take the time during this lockdown or pandemic to you know learn a new tree a new trade or a new skill um, even learn a new language now we all know that trouble don't last always so this is not going to be forever or maybe it won't put a damper on our lifestyles completely should i say so that means pretty soon here you're gonna have to put yourself back out into the field of getting a job probably in the field that you were in or maybe if you're interested in something else you can take this time to learn a new language languages you know are very profitable these days even at the hospitals i know one time i went to the hospitals to get a procedure done and they make you fill out a little document stating what language you uh speak and if you speak another language they will contact someone who is fluent in that language and have them to translate there is money there also um, you can there are some colleges now that are offering free um, trades or free services that you could take some free classes on and learn you a new trade so that you'll be more marketable when it's time for you to enter back into you know the job field number four pay attention and prepare your finances. Look up programs that, you know, will help debt forgiveness, um, that will help uh, you to uh, pay off your student loans, that will help you, um, you know, get an extension on your bills. You know, as you all know, <clears throat> you could pay you're going to have to pay your light bill, your water bill, your sewage bill, even your trash removal bill. Those are bills that are not going to go away. They're not going to go away. They're going to accrue. They may tell you, oh, well, you know, I won't cut your water off or I'm not going to cut your light off or your lights off or, you know, yeah, you know, your sewage bill, it might be a couple of months behind, but, you know, it's okay. But eventually you're going to have to pay those bills. But other bills such as student loans and um, 
even your mortgages or even your rent those bills can be pushed back as well so think about that call your if you if you're unable to pay your light bills if you're unable to pay you know your water bill or whatever if you're a, unable to pay it in full call these companies and they will you know help you but there are some services that offer debt forgiveness they will help you um, to skip payments um, or, you know, even sometimes they'll take the payment and put it to the end of your loan. So research some of those. But what I do suggest you do is when I say prepare your finances, understand that eventually you're going to pay some of these bills. You're going to have to pay them. You're going to have to pay your light bill eventually. So don't just sit and let it build up. And then when it's time to pay it, your light bill is like, two thousand dollars and then you're looking crazy when they come and flip that switch at least if you could pay 50 100 75 200 whatever you have put something towards those bills so that at the end when it's time for you to actually pay them that large um, bill won't hit you in the head also do something to conserve those bills such as cut your lights off if it's daytime, cut your lights off, open your curtains. There's plenty of sunlight on the outside. There, you know, if it's not so hot outside, open your windows, cut your air conditioning off. If it's not freezing cold, you know, you can put on a couple of extra layers, you know, in your household to conserve that energy because you don't want to burn up unnecessary unnecessary energy especially if you don't have the means to pay for it right now make sure that you your faucets are cut off make sure that you don't you know just unnecessarily run your water because that stuff is going to have to be paid eventually so pay attention to your finances call these different companies see if they can give you some type of debt forgiveness or <clears throat> excuse me even if it's not debt forgiveness they will help you, you know, push your bills to the side or give you a relief just until you're able to pay them. And number five, and this is the most important, take time to work on yourself. Now, it is very easy during this pandemic to let yourself go. You slip into a depression. All you want to do is eat and sleep and you don't want to do anything. How many of us have done our hair? very few you know if there's nothing for us to get up and do there's very little that we're going to get up and do sometimes you got to take some time and motivate yourself it's so easy you know to not exercise it's so easy to be super stressed it's so easy to fall into a depression but you know sometimes we're going to have to force ourselves you know, to go outside and get fresh air. Force yourself to get up and at least put a little bit of lip gloss on or wash your hair or do your hair. You know, do something for some self-care. Even though the nail salons might be closed, get you some fingernail polish and paint your own nails. You know, give yourself a little facial. You know, clean your skin. You could be breaking out from all the stress that you're having. Just take some time to take care of yourself and keep yourself as healthy as you possibly can so that when this is all over, you will be able to thrive in the world. Now, these are just five tips that I come up with. If you have any tips that you could think of, please leave them in the comment section below. And I just want to thank you guys, and I hope that you all stay safe and healthy and blessed. And until next time, peace.